Hey everybody, it's Dr. Josh Levitt here. I am at the office and today I want to share with you a new word, a word that I just learned and I suspect it will be new to most of you as well. This is a word that came up in a conversation that I had with a friend of mine who's an expert in paleontology. Paleontology, of course, is the study of ancient fossils and what we can learn from the fossil record. So what's the word that I learned? The word is coprolites or coprolite, uh, C-O-P-R-O-L-I-T-E, coprolite. And what does this word mean? Well, it's rather amusing. Coprolites are fossilized feces. Paleo poop is what they are. And the reason why we were having a conversation about fossilized poop from the Paleolithic era is that there has been a number of scientific inquiries into fossilized human feces and what we can learn from this. And the main thing that we learn from fossilized or paleo poop is that our Paleolithic ancestors ate a tremendous amount of fiber. So coprolites in the human fossil record have demonstrated that our Paleolithic ancestors ate something on the order of 100 grams, 100 grams of fiber per day. Now contrast that with the fiber consumption of the average American, which can be as low as something like 10 grams and maybe 20 grams per day. The recommended for most people uh, with normal gastrointestinal function should be up around 40 grams or so per day. So fiber is incredibly important and there's a long human history of us ingesting much, much more of it than we do today. Uh, Paleolithic humans probably ate at least five times as much fiber on a daily basis that we do now. And fiber, it turns out, is incredibly important. Most people are aware of the importance of fiber with respect to the gastrointestinal tract, right? Uh, the prevention of constipation, bowel regularity, and it's impact on things like diverticulitis or hemorrhoids or other problems of the GI tract, including the prevention of colon cancer, can be achieved by increasing fiber in the diet. But there's a few other sort of lesser known benefits of fiber as well. Fiber has been associated with improvements in cardiovascular health or decreases in cardiovascular risk. It's also uh, been shown to help improve blood sugar control in both normal individuals and those with diabetes. Adding fiber to the diet can help blunt the rise in blood sugar that accompanies a meal. Um, we know that increasing your fiber will help improve weight management, help people with weight loss because fiber helps to improve the feeling of fullness that we have after a meal, it makes you feel more, more, um, more sated after a meal. So therefore decreasing food consumption and improving weight management. So there's all kinds of reasons to bump up the amount of fiber in the diet and it can come from all sorts of different places. Of course, vegetables, all the green ones, all the orange ones, all the yellow ones, roots and tubers, onions, potatoes, sweet potatoes, especially um, green vegetables like broccoli, white vegetables like cauliflower, legumes, beans, peas, nuts, seeds, especially chia seeds and flax seeds and hemp seeds are wonderful sources of fiber. So look for plant foods, fruits as well, especially berries. Uh, apples also have large concentrations of fiber. So look for a wide array of vegetables, seeds, nuts, berries, legumes in the diet to try to increase that fiber amount Try to get your average daily intake up around 40 grams per day, and you'll be a much healthy person both in the GI tract and outside the GI tract. So leave it to paleo poop and copper lights to give us a lesson on fiber consumption. I hope that helps you, and take good care.